Hi, this is Dr. Erica. I'm Dr. Joe. We're from White Wong PT. Today we're going to go over the bird dog. So the bird dog is a exercise that is going to test your ability to keep your back straight because uh, your body's going to want to actually rotate with this one. So you're preventing rotation in your back. So what we're going to have Erica do first is she's going to get down on all fours. The reason for doing this start position is well, the first thing you want to do is try to determine what is a good position for you to start this exercise. So if you're locking down the muscles in your sides, you want to make sure that you're not locking them down in a position where you're too far forward or too far backwards. You want to find a happy medium where your back feels comfortable in between both of those. So what she's going to do is she's going to do the uh, cat camel exercise. So she's going to push up and push down with her lower back. So somewhere in between there, she wants to find somewhere that feels nice and comfortable for her. So I'm gonna let her play with that a little bit until she decides that she's good. She's just given the, the nod. So what she's gonna do then is she's gonna lock down the muscles uh, as far as create that abdominal brace. She's gonna push out into my fingers from here. This is a good tactile cue if you're coaching other people. So this area should not move after this point. Now she's gonna start by just doing her leg first. So she's gonna take this leg and drive back with her heel towards the wall while she's keeping this nice and tight. So go ahead and do that, Erica. So she's pushing her leg straight back. Good, and then coming back forward. So as far as when you're watching this for your patient, you shouldn't see any movement through this section. You're gonna see a little bit of movement around their hip and that's perfectly fine because they're having to contract the muscles in their glute to push the heel back towards the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and do that again. So get your brace nice and tight. Drive the heel straight back. And then bring it back down. Good. So then that you want to make sure that they're not hiking one hip up. Uh, go ahead and do a hip hike, Erica. Show them what that would look like. So if you start seeing them like rotating the, the hip towards you and you're on this side of them, then they're obviously doing some rotation. And that's what they're trying to prevent. Uh, so you want to make sure they can create that stability. The next way to progress this then is we can have them also practice just with one of their arms. So she's going to have her neutral position. Go ahead and breathe. Push out my fingers. And she's going to do the arm and the leg at the same time. And then she's going to bring them back. Excellent. So as she's doing that, she's trying to keep all of this as the same piece with no movement. And because uh, the muscles in your spine are actually meant to be the brakes in a sense. They're going to keep you in the same position as the ball and socket joints in your shoulder and hip do all of the movement. So we're going to have you do that one more time, Erica. So this is going to be nice and tight. The shoulders and the hip are going to do all the movement. Hold it and then come right back. Excellent. So as they're doing some effort, you might see that they're their body's uh, like shaking a little bit and that's perfectly fine. Uh, that just means it's taking them some effort to hold that position. But what you're watching for is if you see their clothes start wrinkling up like this as they're moving, it's a little bit of a hint that their, uh, their back is moving in some direction. So if I saw her, you know, her shirt getting pulled across, then obviously that's a little bit of rotation in the back. Uh, but that looked good. We appreciate it, Erica. Thanks for watching in. Remember to take care of yourself.